Hello dear traders, welcome to this analytical video by STB Trading Broker. Today we are gonna have a brief analyze on XAUUSD in a 4 hour time frame. Uh, in this chart after the X wave pattern, we started the correction uh, process. We examined this bearish and corrective trend. Uh, the first wave of correction uh, was the bearish wave that uh, ended in this area. After that, due to the structure of wave B, we expected another bearish trend in the direction of wave A. Uh, but a, a very sharp bearish trend was formed in this area of the chart, uh, which was very fast. Uh, given the length of time, we can check for a recent downturn. Uh, this bearish uh, wave had very little time compared to wave A. Uh, we can consider two scenarios for uh, this bearish trend. Uh, in the first scenario, wave A, B and this correction process is wave C. Uh, and the uh, ascending that is forming in the D wave of the triangular or diametric pattern uh, which will make the diametric pattern more reliable. Uh, in this scenario the wave was uh, expected to end in the same area as the uh, resistance zone. Uh, and the most optimistic case is that the price dimension ends and after a correction, it uh, wastes time again. Uh, when wave D ends, and we follow E wave as a diametric pattern. In the second scenario, uh, after the end of this wave without a triangular or flat pattern, uh, here wave A is very sharp, and uh, the wave B is retesting the uh, wave A and they expect wave C to form again for this bearish trend. Uh, due to the return of wave B for wave A, it is expected that around the floor of wave A, uh, the minimum and uh, most normal target for wave C is this pattern. If the bearish trend is strong and uh, there is no weakness, we can consider a continuation of uh, the bearish trend up to 138% or 161%. In this scenario, according to the above time uh, and higher time frames, uh, we expect the C wave to hit the A wave. And then, given the structure and price dimensions of wave movements, we expect the bearish trend to continue. As a result of these two scenarios within the same resistance area, we expect the trend to change. And uh, in the first scenario, the price ends, and after a waste of time, we will continue the bearish trend again as E wave and in the second scenario the same trend change will have a bearish pattern uh, as wave C of course can reach up to the floor of wave A and then to the support area. I hope this was an effective analysis for you guys. Uh, be in contact with us, 